does the Atman make choices or is it just the mind making choices? If the Atman is just the witness, then why is it faced with the rebirth as a result of the choice made by the mind? Okay, first of all, the Atman does, is not born, doesn't die. The central teaching of Bhagavad Gita, people don't understand. Hmm. The Atman is never born, never dies. It appears to have been born, it appears to die. So the, 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 if you like, the, the level of appearance, the Atman appears to be encapsulated by the body, the mind, the intellect, the ego. It seems to be, it seems to be encased by the body, mind, intellect and the ego. But it is never there, it just appears. See the philosophic term, nasty one. When you see something appears, that means you don't really explain it. So you say, does Atman have the, you know, kind of wish to be reborn? You see, it's not there. It's just an appearance. That has got wish to be reborn in a particular mode. You choose, choose certain things, don't choose something, run away from certain things, embrace other things. It's the Jivatman, then, you know, the appearance of Atman is the mind and body mm -hmm. that has got all this play. The Atman itself, how can it have it? Then in that case, it is hardly worth bothering. Mm. With. It's just like a tiddly fellow. It is the Jivatman that's the tiddly fellow that mucks about like us. But the Atman is never caught up like that. Mm -hmm.